adjustment video. Today I have a very special guest, longtime patient of mine, Alex. Alex is a guy who exercises daily and he also works a ton of hours. So as you can imagine, he gets very tight in his neck and upper back. So he comes in periodically to get tuned up. Uh, so today we're going to show you how I adjust him. So go ahead and lie face up for me, please. Now in Alex's case, you know, he's obviously a big guy and he spends a lot of time on the phone and on the computer. So that's gonna cause him to get really tight. He tends to get tight through his traps, tight through his upper back. And so what we try to do with the adjustments is really open him up so that he can get a good workout and he doesn't have the, you know, the postural issues from work affecting his ability to train. Hope you didn't just have breakfast. <laughs> very authentic reaction guys. He does that pretty much every time. When you're ready, lie on your right side for me. So another thing that we can work on Alex with is doing some stretching for his hips. So we always like to adjust his lower back. He tends to get a little bit tight in the hips. Again, from sitting, being on the phone, sitting in the car, things like that. So this adjustment kind of helps open him up and make him more comfortable during his leg workouts. Take a big breath in. Go ahead and slide up for me, Alex. Good. So usually before I do a cervical adjustment, especially on a big guy like Alex, I'll kind of stretch out some of the muscles around the neck. You know, a lot of times he's coming to me right after, you know, a 10 or 12 hour work day. So I want to make sure that it gets nice and loosened up, nice and relaxed before we do the adjustment. So here we're just doing a little upper trap release just to make sure we can get those joints opened up just like we want when we do the adjustment. Got a couple of trigger points in there. Very common area for people again you know, working at the desk, working at the computer, lifting weights, these, these things tend to cause these trigger points in the traps, but it's something that we can take care of really easily. All right, so we're gonna do a little adjustment at C2 on the left side and low down at C5 on the right side. Oh, nice. This one's a little bit lower, so we're getting close to that CT junction here. Oh, nice. So I always like to finish my cervical adjustments with a little traction. So we're going to take our Y strap here, just create a little traction. This is just going to help with some compression that's built up. Again, from years of lifting weights, years of working at the computer. Especially after an adjustment, now that all the joints are aligned, nice and mobile, we're gonna get some fluid back in those discs and some space back in the spine. And take them side to side. All right, guys, there you have it. That's a, a post-work tune-up adjustment. This is Will from Miami Spine. I'll see you guys next time.